Hi, I'm Dave from the Cyber Griffin team at the City of London Police. In this video, I will show you how to spot a phishing email. Did you know that 91% of cyber crimes starts with an email? Cyber criminals create emails that look like they could be from a real company or person and are designed to get you to open attachments or click on links so they can steal your data or infect your device. Now that you're working from home, you need to make sure that you maintain the same security practices you had when you were in the office. Criminals are creating phishing emails to specifically prey on the fears of the coronavirus pandemic. The BBC have published an article which rounded up some of the hundreds of types of coronavirus related phishing emails. One of the examples is a tax refund email, supposedly from the government. Although there are grants and loans from the government becoming available, this one is a scam. You can see the use of a law, an offer which is too good to be true. This is a new take on the common tax refund email. There is also a sense of urgency about it. Access your funds now, which subtly suggests you must act quickly. If you click on the link, you will be taken to a fake website that looks the part where you're asked to enter your financial and tax information to receive the refund. Valuable information to any criminal. Another is a message supposedly from the World Health Organization offering safety advice in an attachment. We can see in this example that the sender's email address doesn't look right. This isn't the address the World Health Organization uses to send their emails from. Also, why would the World Health Organization be sending you an email anyway? If you open this attachment, it will install a keylogger on your device to record and send every key press that you make back to the criminal. This means they get every password and bank card number that you type in. There are lots of other types out there, not just relating to the coronavirus. Your email provider may catch some of these, but if any do slip through, what can you do to check whether it is or isn't a scam? It is highly likely that any message regarding coronavirus is a scam. There is little reason for anyone outside your organisation to email you about it. Links to official sources for information on the coronavirus will be available from the section below. Make sure you check the full email address of the person who sent you the email, as criminals will try and make the email address look legitimate. Always double check the spelling and grammar, as these emails often come from countries where English is not the first language and can be full of errors that wouldn't be there if it was sent by a reputable company. You can copy and paste a phrase from the email or the email address itself into Google to see if anyone else has spotted it as a fish. Remember, if you receive an email that is offering you something too good to be true or has a sense of urgency about it, be suspicious. But if you do receive one, what should you do next? If you do click on a link or open attachment, report it to your IT help desk immediately. If you entered any personal information into a website you clicked onto through a phishing email, you will need to change any passwords you entered onto it and inform your bank if you entered any financial information. The National Cyber Security Centre in the UK has published some good tips for staff and for those who are home working. You can find these on their website, which is the ncsc.gov.uk, or you can use the link below. I hope you found this video useful and if you're a business who operates in or has a footprint within the City of London square mile, check out our website in the links below for a full list of the free services we can provide to help keep you and your organisation safe from cyber attack. There are also some useful links for more information if you are not within the square mile.